Attention Shh. for grown women only. Mark your calendars, lady. Sunday, March 13th, 2 p.m. Eastern. That's Sunday, March 13th, 2 p.m. Eastern. The Secret Money in Your Womb, Part 4. We're going to be talking about the treasure trove embodiment. We as divine feminine women, we're able to magnetize resources for our lives and those that are within our magnetic field using our irresistible divine feminine essence. Y'all know I'm getting ready to drop the jewels, ladies. You don't want to miss it. And we're going to have a very yummy dress code. And for the brothers, for that lovely lady in your life, make sure she's there. Even though it's for women only, you can sponsor the lovely lady in your life. You'll thank me later. Go to unpurposewithvicky.com. That's unpurposewithvicky.com. The link is below. I can't wait to see you there. Welcome back to the African Diaspora News Channel. I am Ongil Zalalem bringing you this report. Today's report is about Nigeria reporting C19 cases surging um, in Nigeria as 60 Ukraine returnees um, tested positive for C19. And this comes after, you know, 700, about 772 uh, people came back from Ukraine and 60 of them actually tasted positive. Let me show you this clip, we'll come back and discuss. Nigeria announced a surge in COVID-19 infections a day after registering the lowest daily figure recorded since the start of the pandemic. On Monday, the Nigerian Center for Disease Control announced only two cases had been recorded in the country. On Tuesday, the health authorities recorded 118 new infections. The surge in the numbers is partly explained by the arrival last Friday of 772 evacuees. Well, that's the issue uh, with traveling right now. And not just that, this is such a, um, a hectic way of traveling. They're, they haven't uh, planned to come. They were just caught off guard and sent to Nigeria for them even returning back home is a big deal and I don't even believe they had to test to go back to Nigeria it was an evacuation so obviously it's not gonna be with social distancing and people have planned it in advance and if they find you to be positive they'll you know quarantine you for two weeks before they allow you to travel it's none of that because of the current situation there's a war going on and they had to flee uh, to go back to their own country so it's understandable how the cases might rise uh, because of the current travel from ukraine about 700 of them just imagine within a short period of time without really planning on it it was a life and death situation so they had to flee ukraine to go back to nigeria so that's why nigeria is seeing a surge in c19 positive results anyways fam let us know down below what your thoughts are about this i am Ongel zalalem i'll see you on the next one bye <laughs>